Hi everyone, and welcome to the Dot Fit Brief on the updated Thermoxel Specialty Weight Loss Product. For those of you that have used Thermoxel for clients in need of weight loss assistance, along with diet and exercise, of course, you've experienced the value of proper usage in that it can significantly speed and ease the journey, and especially for people that continually struggle to maintain a weight loss eating plan or simply stuck at a plateau. Proper use of Thermoxel has always been your go-to helper. Well, it just got better as we've added a new ingredient, trade name Sinitrol, to complement the powerful thermogenic blend and offer an additive effect on supporting body fat loss. But of course, anytime we discuss supplements for weight or fat loss, capture here on slides one through three is our position on reducing body fat and weight loss. Always include proper diet and exercise and because weight loss reducing diets force a loss of nutrients along with the calories. You are all taught to make sure clients are supplementing to protect lean body mass and overall structural integrity, meaning fill all nutrient gaps with a daily multivitamin mineral and consume approximately one gram of protein per pound of lean body mass and often more depending on the calorie deficit. The more aggressive the weight loss, the more daily protein. All right, slides two and three describe job one of supplementation during weight loss and the dot fit products to support the specific client's needs. In other words, the age, gender specific multivitamin mineral. For many clients, a multivitamin mineral and a good meal replacement integration program is all that's needed. But then there's the special needs of weight loss clients, such as having tight timelines, aggressive goals, or they simply constantly struggle with managing their weight. And that's where specialty supplements play a role and none better than Thermoxel. And remember, these specialty supplements are used only temporarily to help the client get past the early pains of dieting and deliver quicker results so they don't surrender. And most importantly, help avoid plateaus, which of course is simply the body's normal adaptation to weight loss. We can overcome. The goal of Thermoxel is to increase the use of body fat for energy and total daily calories burned without forcing more work while also helping reduce those appetite increases that are generally caused by dieting, obviously. All right, and of course, avoid plateaus. Mindful, you burn 100 to 150 less calories a day at just 10% of your weight loss. That's brutal. That means plateaus are always around the corner. And as we all know, as you lose weight, it gets tougher, unless one, Calories burned can be increased without adding more exercise. Or the needed added work is involuntary or spontaneous because you have more energy. Or two, appetite can be controlled during further caloric restriction. Thermogenic blends have demonstrated the ability to accomplish both. And few natural plant extracts have had success on appetite. These combined and potentially additive effects should ease the workload and help mitigate hunger to allow continued weight reduction with less hardship. That's the overall rationale for Thermoxel's combination. First, the thermogenic complex, which is caffeine, yerba mate, guarana, and the green tea extract polyphenol epigallocatechin gallate. We're gonna call it EGCG from this point on. And capsaicin that have independently and combined demonstrated total daily energy expenditure enhancements and greater fat oxidation or fat burning compared to placebo. And then the new guy, Sinitrol, which is a combination of non-stimulant polyphenols that also contribute but through different mechanisms to increases in fat burning by partitioning energy uses such as drawing energy from fat stores as opposed to glycogen and muscle stores. And finally, it contains Caroluma fibriata, a plant-based appetite suppressor been used for centuries, shown to assist in weight loss through appetite control. Now, let's look at these groups of ingredients and brief mechanisms of action, starting with the thermogenic blend. And by the way, I want to give you a heads up here. The recommended dosage is two to four tabs daily. Okay, so let's remember that. Here we see caffeine at 200 milligrams in two tabs, which increases metabolic rate and fat oxidation through one, sympathetic activation of the central nervous system. We all know that. We drink coffee and start to move a little more. And then two, blocking of adenosine receptors. And that blockade also leads to an increase in dopamine levels, so it enhances mood 
causing a buildup of cyclic AMP. Now, I want you to remember that, okay? That buildup of cyclic AMP is what we're looking for because that increases cell activities. And then three, caffeine also, there's an inhibition of an enzyme called phosphodiesterase. And by, with that would otherwise degrade the desired increase in cyclic AMP and therefore help maintain higher cyclic AMP, which now leads to an increase in fat burning, which is also called lipolysis he, and heat production, okay? And it increases liver satiety signals. The second part of this group is green tea extract and, again, two tabs supplies 270 milligrams of EGCG which increases energy expenditure and fat oxidation by one, inhibiting a different enzyme, catechol methyltransferase, okay? We'll call it COMP for now, which is the enzyme that normally degrades epinephrine and norepinephrine, which are those two neurotransmitters that caffeine stimulates. So you have caffeine raising these neurotransmitters, while EGCG helps keep them active by blocking the enzyme trying to break them down, thus helping us keep energy expenditure high. And then a second mechanism of action of EGCG, as figure four by Yang et al. demonstrates, is the stimulation of AMP-activated protein kinase, or AMP, through affecting the ratios of the metabolites of our favorite energy molecule, ATP. So ADP, AMP, ATP, the ratio of these are all changing, thus increasing the use of fat, or simply enhancing overall fat burning. And three, so a third mechanism, EGCG has also been found to signal the gene expression of proteins that play a role in thermogenesis, or the burning of heat, and beta oxidation, which is fat usage. Now you can see how caffeine and EGCG complement each other to potentially yield an additive effect to fat burning and total calories burned. But we're not done yet, especially with the thermogenic group. Last but not least in the thermogenic blend is capsaicin at 17 milligrams in two tabs. And as you can see, capsaicin also increases energy expenditure and lipid oxidation and reduces appetite by increasing thermogenesis and metabolic rate, but through distinctly different pathways, with the primary target being brown adipose tissue. And that's your good fat, by the way, okay? That helps keep us warm by burning calories as heat rather than movement. I believe we've all eaten chili peppers and experienced the heating and sweating taking place. Well, that's cranking up the calorie burning for sure, as capsaicin is the active ingredient in hot peppers and why we add it here. It works primarily by the stimulation of transient receptor potential channels, or TRP channels, okay, which enhances brown adipose tissue activity. Again, simply the burning of calories for heat. And it does that through uncoupling oxidative phosphorylation. And then number two, capsaicin also improves overall lipid metabolism through unique pathways related to its stimulation of the central nervous system. Now all that thermogenic power is enough on its own to assist in fat loss, but let's look at the rest of the product with L-theanine next, because its inclusion is to balance the stimulant effects of the thermogenic blend. And L-theanine, at 100 milligrams in two tabs, does this by increasing gamma amino butyric acid, or GABA, I'm sure you've seen that acronym before, levels, which delivers anti-stress effects, including balancing caffeine stimulation. In fact, study reviews show caffeine, combined with L-theanine, had the greatest positive effect on cognitive and mood outcome measures. That's big and it's probably due to theanine's balancing caffeine's overstimulation. Next, let's look at the appetite support plant extract that's been used for centuries for controlling appetite, called Caroluma fibriata. At 500 milligrams for two tabs, this extract is proposed to work through direct involvement in the hypothalamus signaling of fullness. Two, possibly through its pregnant glycoside makeup, to reduce the synthesis of hunger hormones, and three, support weight loss through its ability to inhibit the activity of enzymes involved in breaking down carbohydrates so they don't get absorbed. Ha! And now, finally, we get to the new big daddy, Sinitrol. So I'm really happy with this. This has been a, you know, a two-year project working with the company on this. So this slide depicts the Sinitrol multiple 
proposed mechanisms of action in supporting body fat reduction. But in summary, Sinitrol at 600 milligrams in two tabs can improve overall fat burning activity by also, like caffeine, but through a different mechanism, inhibiting phosphodiesterase so you maintain higher levels of cyclic AMP. Remember, we talked about that. Signaling for more fat oxidation and Sinitrol's components, which are the polyphenols norinogen and hesperidin, say that real fast again, may also affect fat oxidation through related gene expressions that would favor the burning of fat for energy, or what we call partitioning of pulling energy from the body when you're in a deficit. Sinitrol used by itself in dosages found in thermic cell has delivered impressive results. Remember, this is by itself, as shown on this slide here, where they measured free fatty acid release from your fat cells or adipocytes. The researchers found that Sinitrol significantly stimulated lipolytic, lipo, lipolytic say that again fast, activity by the polyphenols inhibition actions, as we talked about on PDE or the phosphodiesterase in a range of six-fold greater than placebo. So that's huge if you can block that enzyme. That's the idea, keeping cyclic AMP up. And as shown here in table one, in the treatment subjects, compared to placebo, body fat significantly decreased with a difference of 2.53% and 5.6% after four and 12 weeks, respectively. Now, additionally, and this is big, the body weight decreased with a significant difference of 6.6 .6 pounds and 12.3 pounds after four to 12 weeks compared to placebo. Now, the second Sinitrol study, which is even a bigger one, found virtually the same results, but in body fat. And what that's telling you, when it's body fat and not so much weight, is you're actually taking fat stores and preserving lean body mass. So that was a huge, huge second study that they did. All right, but all in all, some very impressive numbers. And remember, this is Sinitrol all by itself. So now you know why we wanted to combine it with other known body fat reduction support ingredients. And especially because each have unique and synergistic mechanisms of action that may also become additive. So let's see how you take this bad boy. Typical use would be anyone without adverse events to stimulants and seeking to accelerate weight loss, avoid plateaus, and ease the journey, including to help control appetite. And then of course, anyone who needs a serious multiple pronged approach to weight control, including strong but controlled stimulatory effect to help increase metabolism, which means obviously you would not want to combine this with other stimulants. So at a minimum, keep a minimum of four hours between other stimulants, including your coffee. And of course, you, if you're taking heart medication, you certainly wouldn't use this product. And then the good news, you get to discontinue after reaching body fat reduction goal, or when your lifestyle is under control to continue the desired body composition goal without assistance. Your maximum dose would be to take four tablets daily, and you would take two at breakfast and two at lunch. You don't wanna take it too late in the day. And at least, you know, obviously take it with fluids. If you're sensitive to caffeine, cut it in half. Start with two tabs daily, one in the morning and one at lunchtime, okay? And then if it's comfortable, you can move to the higher dose. Let's summarize the unique and key points of this new Thermic Cell. Right. The combined ingredients of Thermic Cell have the ability to significantly increase metabolic rate, fat burning, and potentially your daily activities because you feel better. In other words, your total calorie burn would be significantly increased while balancing the stimulatory effects of caffeine-related herbs and suppress appetite through multiple mechanisms. This combination may allow the user to avoid or overcome typical plateaus related to early weight loss without the normal obligatory increase in activities or decrease in food intake required to continue desired weight loss reduction. And again, this is a safe and powerful assistant for weight loss that would be used temporarily to speed and ease the journey, allowing the user to adjust to the lifestyle conducive to supporting their desired body composition or a healthy weight. At which time, they would not need to continue with Thermic Cell. Just make sure, here's my shameless plug all the time right off the bat, just make sure you always, from womb to tomb, take your daily multivitamin mineral. With weight loss prescription drugs being deemed to have too many negative side effects, including being pulled off the market with minimal results, 
There's a high interest in products like Thermoxel and other natural sources for assisting in weight control. So there you have it. A big tool for your toolbox. Big tool for your weight and fat loss toolbox to be used as needed to speed and ease the journey. Because the journey for too many people is difficult. And our job is to give them their best chance for success. See you in the field.